Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Surviving the Aftermath. This is a really interesting one. This it came up on my radar a few weeks ago, maybe, maybe a month or maybe a month ago, uh, when it was first announced by Paradox, uh, who are publishing it, and then uh, at Paradox uh, convention, PDX, I think it was called, that's been happening this week in Berlin, I think. Uh, they said, uh, here's some more information about it, and it's now available! Go and get it! Which is kind of, I love it when game developers do that. It's just like, what? Everyone just runs <laughs> to play games. Um, so, this is early access version of the build, and this is an exclusive at the moment to Epic Games. Although I do believe the full release is going to Steam and, and other places as well. I think it's coming to Xbox as well, too. Um, so, yeah, exciting stuff. I was a big fan of Surviving Mars, which was the pre predecessor to this one so interestingly this now has created the surviving brand into a franchise but it is made by completely different companies this one is made by ice flake uh, i believe they're called and surviving mars was by haymont which is they're probably best known for tropico um but yeah they're both published by paradox uh, thank you very much to epic games they provided me with the key for this one um so we're going to dive in and have a look uh, new game. So um, this, I'm not going to do tutorial. I've played through the tutorial. This has got a bit of everything in there. Okay, so it's classic sort of city builder. A lot of banished. Um, a lot of um, frost punk. There's some frost punky ideas in there as well. Uh, a little bit of surviving Mars, obviously. Um, I'm going to go for relatively easy, um, just because that's kind of how I play games, to be honest. So if you want to see somebody, the difficulty percentage goes up here, depending on what you click. You want to see somebody to get this to like three, four hundred percent. I recommend uh, Skystorm. Uh, um, I don't know actually know whether he's covering this game yet, but I'm sure he will. He's right up his street, and he's known for sort of going for the hardest possible difficulty. Um, but personally, I, I I like to kind of go f go for a lower difficulty that I can just enjoy the gameplay of. Okay, so we get to make a flag. Um, I, well, we'll go for orange. It's kind of Geekism's colour, right? I kind of like the four-leaf clover. Uh, oh, I like the I like the Olympic torch one actually. Uh, what's that? That's a platypus. Well, we have to go for the platypus, don't we? Um, let's go con continue. The colony name is going to be called... Uh, Kalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
movie theater and a game arcade eventually. Wow, okay, so we've got a long way to go before we're hitting this. Communal eating, we can provide a cookhouse, that seems important. Um, logging, cookhouse and logging camp boost food production in the colony. The cookhouse creates some food, logging camp produces firewood. Right, okay, all right. So anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just build some shelters. Um, so we'll have, I don't know whether to do like a housing district or just to have the houses around the middle here. I mean, these are all sort of semi-permanent anyway. We have 12 people, so we're gonna do two of these. Um, so we'll place those down and we'll, and they should get working on that. We should have the supplies for that straight away. Now to get more supplies, we're gonna come to our stockpile here. We're gonna move our work area. So here we've got, uh, you wanna try and get a few in. So what's what are you, concrete ruin, and wood and wood. There's also wood there, wood over here, a couple of woods and a little... We'll start on that one. That's nice and local and, and close. Okay. Food area. We'll start them collecting some berries. Uh, see if we can get a few of these in one. I don't know whether that's actually clocked any of them, so let's just move it and get those two. Um, but berries do not make the meal, uh, really. It's not great food, is it? So we'll come in here and do some... Um, small farms, uh, let's have these on sort of on the way in, I think is probably a good way to do it. Um, I'm going to build a few of these, because not only do they not produce that much food, um, we had a, in the, in the tutorial game I had, there was a, we had a, oh, what do you call it, like a, a apocalyptic event basically where they got they actually lost one of my farms so we don't want that we're gonna build a trapper as well this is a guy goes out and gets himself some uh, some uh, rabbits that kind of thing there we go so we'll put them there so farms are done we're gonna uh, select two of them to be corn corn grows quick but doesn't yield as much potatoes grow slowly but yield more so we'll have one potato one just always ticking over and the corn one here currently being covered by a car that's because when we rebuild this that car will be gone so that's not too much of a problem everyone is sleeping we have 77 food we don't have see it's saying here we don't have a well i think that's because we just have enough production with that well there so let's get another well now but they can't really cross over i'm thinking one down here by the farms would kind of make sense. That's where people would need water. And we'll also stick a water tower at the back here to start storing up water. Hopefully the excess will uh, will make that store there. Because like I say, we had in the in the tutorial level, it was a heat wave. Ooh. Excuse me, just having a drink. So yeah, obviously, you know, Planet Zoo, round the corner. We're going to be playing a lot of that on the channel. But we've got a couple of weeks before that comes out. And I love a good city builder. Especially these sort of smaller scale, more colony builders, I suppose you would call them. I'm a big fan, so yeah, happy to see this. And I love the art style. I think, if anything, it's maybe a little too bright. Um, you know, they could grunge everything up a little bit more, I think, to really sort of fit the feel of the game. But otherwise, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Like all the sort of panels and corrugated metal and all that sort of stuff. So here we go. Let's, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to lose you. I'd like to see who you are. Addison. Addison's working as a trapper. Relatively happy. She has tools and clothes. So, I mean, that's all, what more could you ask for? This water well's getting done. All the stuff's there, it's just getting built. Let's speed through a little bit, see if this changes our water. So here we go, yeah, production and consumption. So that's number there is showing a balance number, whereas that number there is showing the physical how many we have in storage. So you don't technically store water, although I did think this stored it. Does that mean we can get that? Oh no, storage, there we go. Ah, I see. So we can store a few hundred without the water tower, but now with the water tower that can go up to 900. Right, okay. But we are positive. Oh, okay, rabbit season. So these pop up from time to time. This is a little bit like Anno, I guess, but then also these are very much like Frostpunk, so you kind of go out, you have to make a decision. It's one of those like choose your adventure kind of things, you know. Uh, three colonists in Spain, they've been working on a new kind of trap for hunting rabbits, uh, and the group wants to set them outside the camp. Um, the contraptions look functional, but letting the group venture far away from the colony is not without risk. So, I had this one in the tutorial, I'll be honest with you, it didn't work, they came back with radiation poisoning. So, I'm interested, I'm going to give it a go again and see whether it's any different. Give permission to go. 
Oh, see, this time it works. So there is a random chance each time whether it works or not. Um, the group returns, each carrying two or three rabbits on their shoulders. It seems that their traps work very well as long as there's enough rabbits running around. Twelve venison. Venison? Venison? Venison's deer. <laughs> what sort of rabbits did you catch? Were they long? Were they long-legged rabbits with antlers? Is that what you caught? <laughs> Uh, so, f oh, it was telling me then that deposits were depleted. So that is these ones here, right? Okay, so they've all gone now. So uh, wood is kind of our real sort of basic one. So we'll move that over to there. Food storage, all the berries have gone. So let's move that into more berry territory. Is there a couple we can hit? I wonder whether that hits all three. Let's try. Let's see, see if they walk over. If they go and get this one. Yeah, I reckon we're safe in the knowledge that that's hit all three berries there. Okay. So food storage here, look. Oh, oh, there's some stuff in sat in here as well. Right, okay, so processed food goes in the bunker. Processed stuff in general seems to go in the bunker. A colonist is suffering from serious mutations. What? Oh, hello. I want to, I want to, oh, 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 you've got all things growing off you. How gross is that? I want to be able to zoom in more. Hold on. Oh, it's gone. Are you cured? I think you have to go to the uh, medical facility, which we don't have. So let's build a medical facility. Medical tent. Um, it's really kind of go in the sort of center of town, really, shouldn't it? Let's put it there. I'm building in this knowledge that these things won't be here forever, you see. So I'm trying to sort of build a town square here. Uh, let's set that to high priority. Well, let's be honest, I think it's the only thing we're building currently anyway, so. Insufficient construction materials for a tent. Okay, so what do we not have? Plastic. Okay, so for plastic, we need... Uh, where are you? Is it this one? Resources? Here we go. Recycler. Scavengers plastic and fiber from plastic. Oh, that's where we get fiber from. Okay Here we go then so recycle so we need to find a plastic deposit now It's basically just a big old lump of plastic in the ground. There's Is that one or two? There's two there. Oh, that's a little. It's not that far out actually Metal metal. Oh, there's one right there. I mean it'd be silly not to Be silly not to get that one wouldn't it to start off with then We'll just put that behind the uh Behind the uh, bunker. Yeah, it's, when that one's cleared out, we'll send them up here. Now, what I'm quite curious about is I don't know how we continue to get plastics and metal when these have run out. I mean, we can plant trees to get wood, so we can we can uh, automate our wood processes. But but when we've run out of planks, we can do that. But yeah, and food, obviously, we can fish and hunt. That's fine. But I'm not too sure how we keep going with things like plastic. Maybe that's down to the world map. Maybe that's what we're going to be finding here. I wonder how far out this goes. Wow, seems pretty big. Oh, it's exciting stuff. Love getting into a new game. It's so much fun. I really do enjoy figuring out the processes of, uh, of these kind of games. And whilst we can't be quite as creative as we can in others, you know, I mean, there is stuff here. Look, we've got... Oh, look, we've got some really nice stuff here. Look at this lantern. I mean, the problem is, as I spend too much time... Uh, oh, sorry. Don't want that. I spend too much time and effort on this sort of stuff. Let's just put a single torch down. And as we do, it goes daytime. There we go. Just to say, look, here's the middle of the town. See, that sort of stuff I really like because that is where a bit of creativity can come in. We can make the place look a little nicer. So if somebody's gone to work in the recycler, yes. Young um, young Harper is there. Good stuff, Harper. Thank you. Probably should have built like the weather around so it sat nicer with that. But there's, there's 71 out of 73 there, you see. So that is, that's finite, right? So that's going to be a bit of a question, yeah. Is that built? There we go. The last bits of plastic are in. Okay, so the construction is complete, so I'm hoping Serious Mutations, Addison, yes, has gone straight in there. Awesome stuff. Hopefully once she's cured, she'll get back to finding some meat and stuff. Uh, venison, she's getting because it's gone up, look. Yeah, there you go. So this this is very Anno, isn't it? This sort of time equals this. But you don't quite have the production uh, sort of runs as much as you do in Anno, I don't think. 
Okay, so this this is yeah, you're being you're being cured. That's good. So a lot of people standing round. So I mean what's next? Do we do we build them some houses, I suppose? Are we are we there yet? Or do we maybe try and get some more things set up? So this warehouse, I wonder if I mean this bunker's falling to bits, look. I wonder, do we do we move stuff out of there into a warehouse? be nice if we could just kind of replace it to be honest but it won't let us do that so instead how about we build it just here so we've got a row of construction colonists want to talk hello two colonists approach you with sparkling eyes an old landfill has been found probably by the stench uh, it's not too far from here although the smell is absolutely awful it might have kept scavengers away from there until now and valuable stuff might be lying in the waste an expedition might prove lucrative but most definitely dangerous without the equipment an extra layer of clothing and a set of tools will go a long way so give a mission and lose two tools and two clothing which we don't really have great supplies of right now or we can just give permission, or we can delay. Let's go for it and see what happens. So, okay, so we got we got some more clothing back, but we've got an infection. Uh, both are visibly disappointed. That's fine. So I'm hoping you, huh? mister, you get yourself cured. Yes, there you go. You can get yourself in there. Isaac. Oh, and Elizabeth's not well either. Sorry about that, Isaac and Elizabeth. Hope you get well soon. Yeah, I like those little things that pop up because it's always just going to give you that little edge, you know. That is, to be honest with you, that's the one thing I would like to see uh, Frontier look at doing. It's just providing those little bits because it just it stops entropy, right? Because without those, I can sit here and like the game can just run and run, right? We'll just we'll we'll stop our food, we'll stop our water, we'll stop our everything. That you know. So you need those little events, and that's uh, that's one thing that really makes or breaks the, these kind of games for me is those little events that just sort of come up so there we go so this warehouse now so if i salvage that and will they all go and move that to where it needs to go to they will good stuff and that opens that up okay well i suppose the next thing then is looking at rebuilding the gate ruins so i'm pretty sure that's over here in exploration the gate and um, requires 20 wood 15 brick uh 15 metal and five plastic we've got we need some more metal. Okay, so let's instead then work on scavenging metal because we only... Scavenging, excuse me. Scrapper, there we go. Because we only put down a plastic one before, but we have metal one too. So I'll put you down there. So we've got plastic and metal being scavenged now. Let's finish taking a drink. I think... I think that's the main uh, the main four covered then, right? Let's just make sure we've got stuff. Yeah, see that one's run out again. That doesn't uh, doesn't tell you very clearly, I don't think. I mean, it just gives you a little pop up here, but it's very easily missed. Um, come on, a bit of concrete there. Then go and get that. Berries are all gone. Move them. We might as well keep them coming in, right? Two berries over there. Hopefully, we get them covered. Yep, they're being got. Okay, good. One thing I have noticed, these numbers up here look colonists. So every time we build one of these, it obviously takes somebody out of the the work pool. Um, so we've actually only got one person who's able to carry stuff around now. So there's only one person who's actually out there being able to get stuff from here and take it to where it needs to be or whatever. So that's going to slow everything down and, and could be quite detrimental in the future. So really, we, we need to start looking at getting some more people in. So to get ready for that, we'll build another shelter. Okay, so I'm going to build that uh, there. So we've got... Because these take six people each, right? Yeah, and we've got 12 people. So, I mean, at the moment, we've got four kids. So, you know, when they grow up, they'll give us a few more. But then obviously people are going to die as well, I assume. So we really need to do get a few more people in. So we'll get them somewhere ready to live heat wave look at this this is what we had last time okay so intense and oppressive heat takes over so it doesn't come in for a couple of days it, it fair warns us and at the moment we have we have we have a lot of water stored right we have 600 
in of stored of water. Ah, because that doesn't store water. So we have actually lost a little. So what I'm thinking we're doing is we get another um, water well activated and we'll just stick it over here. And maybe this could become our sort of housing block over here. That looks quite nice. But if we do this, because at the moment we're creating 12, but I think it doubles water capacity. So at the moment we're producing 24, we're consuming 12. So the consumption will go up to 24. So if we can get one more, we should still produce water through the through the heat. A group of colonists have gotten uh, curious about a nearby river and want to see what it's like for traveling. Should we let them try down the river? Sure. Oh, nice, it worked. After being out most of the day, the group returns a boat full of various players. They stay afloat most of the time and even came across an abandoned fishing cabin. Nice, we got some metal and some parts. Excellent. So now we have enough for our gates. So let's um, let's start working on that, hey? Boom. Just clicks in, just goes where it needs to go. That's a big job. Probably will take a little while to do that. We've got a day before the heat wave hits. So we'll hang around to see the heat wave out, I think. And then we'll call this first episode done. Tempted to get a few more farms going. Problem is we don't we just don't have the people right now. They're all coming in to do some work. What are you doing? Are you are you looks a little stuck, that's all. So here we go. This so the food gets placed down here, look. That's food, that's food. The problem is it's gonna sit there until we get this whoever this one person is is carrier. I don't know how we can see that. Um radio stations. Oh hello. Oh nice. Let's get a bit of funk on the go, yes. Here we go. Workplace. Who who's our carrier? Madison. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, so you're building it in a minute. So that's the thing you see. While Madison is building, which is great, she's not picking stuff up. Now she's moving stuff around where it needs to go. That's great. I'm just going to put some stuff down there. Probably go back and forth a bit. Yeah. That's the thing with all the buildings. It just means we don't quite get the people needed. Oh, so she's gone to get some concrete now. That's interesting. Unless we need concrete. Um, oh, okay. I want to try the rabbit trap again. Go on then. Now oh, it worked this time. The only thing they managed to trap was a single sickly rabbit with enough venison. venison. You, don't, you guys don't know what rabbit is. <laughs> Uh, um, there we go. Okay, we got a bit more meat. It's better than nothing, I suppose. It could be worse. They could come back with like an arm off or something. Yeah. Heat wave's gonna be here any second, but I think we're all right. You know, we've got we're plus twenty four on the water, and I don't think these take up any person. You know. Are you coming? Are you warming yourself up? That's good, isn't it? Having fun. Having fun with the single flame torch. I like it. We're doing pretty good for food. Water, energy. We don't oh, here it comes. Look at this. Talk about a heat wave. We've just gone down to hell. How what? <laughs> that's, that's warm, isn't it? That is hot. But we are luckily still positive on the water because we preempted it with that well. We nailed it. Yeah. Okay, that was good. So like I said, this is basically how the tutorial played out, so I was kind of ready for it. How are we doing here for plastic? Yeah, we just really have a look at how we're going to look at generating plastic. Let's have a look. Production. Energy. Junk recycling. Scrappers side project. Junk is useful and even valuable to those able to recycle it. The mechanic shop converts it into me mechanical parts. Okay, energy storage, energy production. So we've looked at that one. Those are the clothes. Those are the areas you want to Oh, here we go. Community. Oh yes, we definitely need to look at doing that. We can't. We'll get hopefully get some science points in the next one. Bartering, trade center, disaster forecast. 
so I just I'm not sure how we're gonna get more plastics I guess it's from the world map I guess that's it we're gonna have to have people going out and um, the gate is completed awesome and they're here already look at this well we're gonna we're gonna pick up the next episode from sorting out our uh, survivors who are coming in but they're already here look survivor group of three adults and a child and also we get this this is like a super character with like stats and stuff and these are the ones we're going to send out into the um into the world to scavenge so we're going to say accept come on in there we go and in the next episode we'll send platy out to start doing some reconnaissance and maybe working on some of these science points thanks so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it till the next one be good